Hey, it's Anthony here, and today this video is going to show you how I repaired my dead RAM. I have four sticks of RAM, and my computer would not start. I had the black screen, um, and I narrowed it down to this one specific RAM. So in this video, I'll kind of walk you through on what I did in order to get it uh, working again. Now, there's a couple different methods that I'll show in the video. Uh, some did not work. Uh, but the last one did, uh, and that one involved baking my RAM in the oven. Can't bake your RAM in an oven like a piece of chicken? You underestimate my power! Don't try it! Well, no, actually you can. It's actually a science called reflow soldering. And essentially you heat up the oven to the melting point, of the solder inside the RAM, and it kind of re-solidifies uh, and rebonds to your components. And, you know, that should repair any lost connections. Probably not the best thing for the warranty, though. Alright, well, let's get this video started. So this is just to show you, I have a kit in the back there, those are functional. This one is functional and this is the problem one here. Uh, just to show you, number 57. Keep that in mind, okay? So I don't pull anything on you, a fast one. So this is 58, this is the other uh, RAM stick that came in the same kit, that's 57. I'm going to plug it in here into the second uh, RAM slot. Click it into place, and click into place, all right. All right, I'm gonna push the power button. It's starting up. Oops, see that monitor turned blue? Code 99, which means it passed the post stage there, it's good to go. And there you have it. So this RAM works, the RAM slot works, so it's not an issue with the CPU or the motherboard or anything like that. So we're gonna take it out. Again, this was number 58. And we're gonna stick this one in, number 57, which is the one that I identified as the problem. And we're gonna click it in no place. Alright, so it's all snapped in, and engage. See that the memory lights up, and code 55, it freezes on 55. Uh, just to save you guys the Google search, 55 on Asus uh, motherboard, uh, basically means no memory found. So I'm going to try, you know, re-engaging it there, uh, same deal goes right to 55, the screen doesn't turn on, you can tell by the yellow light there. Um, so yeah, so the first thing I'm going to do is do the eraser technique. So as you can see, like, especially on the left there, some of those contacts are pretty dirty. Uh, there's like a small, it looks like a gash on the right side. What you do is you take a pencil, preferably with the clean eraser, and erase it. Good racing up, down, both sides. Uh, as you can see, um, those marks are gone. Uh, this RAM, the contacts on this RAM look, look brand new. So they're all nice and shiny, uh, both sides. All right, so we're just gonna do a little brush there to make sure there's no eraser, eraser bits. Uh, again, 57. And here we go. All right, well, the eraser did not work. So it's off to the oven. So what you'll need is a, uh, some tin foil and the RAM stick. Uh, take the heat sink off if you can. Give an RGB, you know, if, if you can connect that stuff, I probably would. Anyway, um, all you do is wrap it up in this tin foil. 
pretty hard to do one handed actually. But I managed. Just uh, keep flipping it. Now what you'll want to do is kind of fold the ends up. Just makes it easier to grab. Place it in the oven at 400 degrees. Uh, come over here to your clock. Set it for two minutes. Two minutes at 400. Two very boring minutes later. All right, that was a quick two minutes. So kick it up to 450 for another two minutes. A few minutes later. So it's been in the oven for approximately four minutes now. So you open it up, let it air out. Okay. As you can see, the sticker is absolutely destroyed. Completely shrunk. Um, ironically, the sticker on top stayed exactly where it was. And the sticker underneath it actually shrunk under it. So that was kind of weird. Um, but yeah, the, the sticker is completely destroyed. So obviously this is a last ditch effort. Um, this is just a comparison right here. Good sticker, bad sticker. So it, it looks like not good. So I actually ended up peeling them off. Um, then I actually stuck the barcode sticker back on, used some super glue. So it's just that one on it now. Um, as opposed to keeping those other stickers on. Well, this is it. Moment of truth here. And it's cycling. It's over 55 now. Power's engaging. Monitor. Still not on. Okay, cycled to 99. Now it's back to 64. Boom. Monitor flashed on. And boom. 8 megabytes. So it reads it. Code 99. All right, this is for all the money here. We're gonna try all four here. Boom. 99, and there we go. Just all four, monitor turns on, it posts, 32 megs. Well, that concludes my video on how I repaired my dead RAM. Uh, there's a couple ways to do it, but uh, this way seemed to be my only option and it turned out well for me. I can't guarantee it will for you, but it seems to work now. Uh, so check out my other videos. Uh, including my build video in which I use this RAM and we'll see if it really runs. As always, like and subscribe and thank you guys for watching.